This is Matt with Walking Gas and Fire. This is the M2 2014 model. I'm going to go over the, the machine, do a quick overview of it. Uh, we'll start out with, uh, this is the, the, the reactor portion. Um, hopper lid, you simply pull it up on the latch. Lid is on the hinge. See down deep inside of here. The reduction is stainless steel. It's quarter inch wall, cast stainless steel. Um, stainless steel jets. Go on the outside. Um, the, the port in the band, that's your ignition port. This was the, the port where you light the machine. Simply unscrew it, put fire to it, light it. Once the machine's up to temp, you replace that. And then open this port up. This is your air port. And that's how the machine breathes. Alright, now this handle here, this is the great shaker. Wiggle that back and forth and that turns the, the grate back and forth. I'll shine this down here and try to actuate it. Let's see how that works. Okay, ash clean out. All right, there's two caps, one on the front, one on the back. You remove both of them. And you'll set that aside, go back around to the front one. On the front one, got a plunger on the end of it. And basically what you'll do is just move that back and forth and that'll shove ash out both ports. And it's pretty efficient. Put that back on. Alright, to the back of the machine, uh, this here is the, the gas exit port. This is your secondary air out. Next is your cyclone filter. Down here at the bottom is your collector can. Um, to empty this you simply unscrew it and just empty it out. You can rinse it out with water and if you have to uh, uh, really clean it um, there's a service cover on the bottom you simply remove that and you can uh, get inside of it better and clean it out. So next is your your condenser. This is your cooler. This is how you drop the moisture out of the gas. Um, down here is your tank. Below here is your um, drain valve or um, drain port, I should say. You can put a ball valve on there to drain it, make it easier. And then up here is your blower. This is integrated. There's a high output blower. Um, to actuate it, you just simply need a 12 volt power supply. You got a jumper lead. And you just hook this up to a battery, or you can wire it into uh, to a switch or something. Then over here, you got your flare tube, ball valve for on and off. So when you're, you're lighting the machine, you have this open, you have power supply to it, put flare to it, and um, wait for it to light. Up next is your media filter. Down here is also a drain port. Um, you will drop some uh, moisture um, after the condenser, but most of it should drop in the condenser. Um, yep, this is a surplus army um, ammo box. Um, down there you can see there's a grate, and then over here is your, your gas out, this is your clean gas out, and then this is your mixer valve. Um, got a gate valve here for fine, fine tuning an air fuel mixture. And then your hose going to your, uh, to your generator, and then this is our supplied manifold for attaching this to your engine. Um, how you do this is we already supply this with the, the center hole. Um, 
in the manifold, but you will have to uh, punch a couple holes into this to adapt this to your carburetor. You want to put some kind of seal um, against this so you're not uh, to create a you know an airtight seal um, so you're not sucking in uh, air. Um, this simply comes unattached. Um, if you need to, you can um, pull those bolts and that'll come off if you have to clean it. Also, after you have this attached, um, at the bottom side, you may want to punch uh, like an eighth inch hole or a sixteenth inch hole um, to drain any uh, moisture that drops out here. Um, this will keep it from filling up with uh, moisture and getting sucked into your engine. The back pressure of the engine will, will shoot um, any moisture out through the bottom. So that's a, um, a good method for uh, removing, uh, you know, keeping condensate from collecting there. Also, you want to punch a hole for your uh, um, crank, uh, positive um, vent for your crankcase. Um, you'll need to insert that hose somewhere in there. It's just, usually it's like a 3 8 in, inch hole for, uh, for inserting that hose. And then also new for 2014 is the cart. Um, that comes as standard uh, equipment on the new M series. Uh, both the M, M, M1 and the M2 get this cart. Um, this is the, the M2. This is $3,200. Uh, shipped anywhere in the USA, uh, lower 48 states. The M1 is, uh, I believe, 2100. Uh, the difference between the M1 and the M2 is the M2 is a is a chip fuel chunk fuel machine. You can run, you can actually run pellets in this machine if you wanted to. The M1 is a bit smaller, so I don't recommend running chips or, or larger fuels in that one because you'll have bridging issues. It's just too small of a gasifier. It's good for running wood pellets, though. Um, that's where that machine actually really shines. So um, That's it for now. Um, next video, we'll do a test run of this machine and uh, flare it off. All right, thanks for watching.